it's Wednesday night, about 2 in the morning, and I have to go to bed. But I was sitting around thinking, I should probably make a video today because tomorrow I'm going to the mountains all day, and then Friday I have got a lot to do, and this weekend is crazy. And I thought I'd just kind of talk to you guys because I, I feel like my updates always have an agenda, there's always a purpose, there's always a reason. But this is just... Losing weight the hard way, weigh in number something, 74, 76, something, my god. Do you realize that that's like, <laughs> I mean, hello, that's almost like 80 weigh-ins. It's just ridiculous how long this process gets. Anyway, I just wanted to make a video because I've had a very good week, and I wanted to share with you that I'm doing really well. I feel like I've really gotten away from the whole idea of weekly weigh-ins, which is to communicate with the community. I, I don't respond to a lot of comments on my videos anymore. My focus is so much more on Below the Yellow Line and the editing and the creativity. It's really a creative outlet for me right now. I'm not really sewing, I'm not painting, I'm not drawing, I'm not doing really anything artistic. And Below the Yellow Line therefore gets to be like this huge creative outlet for me. Um, when I edit, I just sort of go into this new place and I I have a lot of fun. So I realized I've sort of gotten away from what the community was about for me, which was about connecting with you all and telling you how I am, not giving you a grocery haul, not teaching you about a new diet, not answering questions or doing a Q&A, not, um, you know, video um, documentary style, but like vlogging. Anyway, I just, you know, the whole idea of Justice Challenge this week was to look in the mirror until you found something you love about yourself. And I don't need to do that because I already really do love myself in so many ways. But sometime tonight during Blog TV, I realized I said something aloud and I didn't even realize it till I said it aloud. But I said something to the effect of most people spend their time at work thinking about how they're missing out on their life, on their time with their friends, on their time doing what they love. But I am one of those people who is blessed to be doing nothing but what they love all the time. As a result, however, I tend to find that when I spend time with my friends, I get that feeling that you usually get at work. I get that feeling of, I'm missing out on work. I'm not getting things done, and it stresses me out. And I don't want to be like that. As much as I love my job, I don't want to be so preoccupied with it that I can't enjoy time with my friends. So that was kind of a thing that I thought about, and that really has started me on this new path um, in the last few hours. The last week has really been about me embracing more than my job in my life. And so, um, and I've been thinking about that because that's what Jess had for the challenge this week. Um, or week four, I don't know, it's week five, week four, I'm always behind or off a week, whatever. That was the last video I watched of hers, and that's what I've been thinking about. Um, so it's probably week five now, and I'm all off, but anyway. I've just been thinking how wonderful a lot of things are going, uh, how wonderfully a lot of things are finally going for me. That's what I wanted to share. I feel like... Um, since I moved to California, it was almost like my whole life got put on hold for a couple of months, and I've been playing catch-up since then. I've been incredibly stressed out, more than I've ever been in my life. I've been going through a lot of emotional changes. Um, Jason's helped me realize that this is the first time that I have been single, really single, for a long stretch of time since high school. I've always been in a relationship. A lot of the times I've been in a long-term relationship. And um, I was single for a while, but I had, you know, little boyfriends or guys I was seeing the whole time. This is the first time that I'm just sort of single, and I'm not really meeting people, and I don't really care to. I just want to be single. I like it, and it's different, and it's scary, and it's a lo it's lonely sometimes, but it's it's wonderful. You know, it really allows me to spend time coming into who I am. So that's one big shift. The other one is that I'm. I'm really finally caught up with all my work. Um, I've just been so behind, you know, on work, basically because I missed work for like two months. I kind of did whatever was absolutely necessary during the move, you know, just to keep the business going, but I didn't do anything above and beyond that. And then I spent months and months and months playing catch up. And now I'm finally, you know, just doing what needs to be done. And I don't feel behind. I don't feel 
like I'm terribly um, failing <laughs> at getting my work done. Um, the first full book that I've ever published came in the mail today. It's the first draft, but it only has like one post-it filled with edits to do for the whole book to be done. This is my first book I've ever designed. Um, it's not in print, obviously, but that's it. <laughs> um, and I'm so proud of it. You know, I've, I've always said I'm a graphic designer. I've always done graphic design, but, you know, you, there's something really significant about p being a publisher and designing a whole book and having it be done. <laughs> the work is this like a year in progress. And it just, it just looks beautiful. It's just, it's wonderful. The index has to be done and there's a lot of work to be done, but it just looks really nice. I'm incredibly proud of my work on this book. I love the back of the cover especially. And I got the spine width correct. Anybody who's a designer knows how wonderful it is when your work just turns out beautifully. Um, so work is going great, and I've got new projects on the horizons. I feel like I'm almost caught up with the YouTube messages. I've got a few hundred left, and I just need to kind of set aside time to do that. I think this weekend is going to be the time. And, um, what else is there that's sitting out there? Oh, my blog, AuntieShayWeightLoss.com. I'm always behind, but I've let it get really behind lately. And what I should do is just friggin' update the blog when I upload a video, but I just never think of it. So, But I do feel like everything's coming together. Work is coming together, and it's getting back to normal. YouTube is coming together, and it's getting back to normal. My life, I mean, I'm finally eating healthy after, like, Switching to raw foods right when I moved down here in California to then going crazy 100% raw and then completely falling off the deep end and eating holy crap bad food for like a month. I'm finally coming back in um, to some sort of center. I'm eating raw the first half of the day and then I'm eating non-processed for the second half of the day. And I'm exercising again. I'm running again. Monday I went for like a 45 minute walk and Tuesday I went for my run Today I didn't do anything, but tomorrow I'm going walking all day in the, this little mountain town with lots of shops and stuff. And then Friday or Saturday I'm going rock climbing and I'm going for another run. One of those, whichever day I'm not going rock climbing, I'm going to go for another run. Um, I just, I feel like everything's finally coming together and I, I was just sitting here realizing, you know, I, I've always wanted this life where I did what I loved and I had a lot of fun doing it and I had a practical budget and a way of, that's another thing, my money is finally coming together after going completely haywire with my move. I just feel like I've always wanted this life and I suddenly like realized, oh my god, I have it. <laughs> and now it's just a matter of managing it. Um, but I'm there. You know, Greg always said to me, I shouldn't work too hard. Um, something like, don't burn yourself out and suddenly wake up and realize you're in your 30s and you never had your 20s. Um, and he's right. You know, I, I work really hard and I'm so ambitious. Sometimes I forget to just smile and realize how much I have. I'm 24. I work at home doing things I love all day, every day. I have this amazing community. I have amazing friends. I have an incredible family. And I have an okay money situation. I'm incredibly blessed. So... That's my belated Thanksgiving video. I am thankful for this life, and I'm doing really well. Although my weight is not going down, it will eventually be going down. Um, this morning I weighed in at 166.0, which would be a two pound loss in the last month. Um, but things are improving, and I'm basically almost at goal again, and that's what matters. So anyway, that's all I had to say. I'm just really happy and I wanted to give an update for this Thursday because I'm really not going to have um, time to make a video tomorrow. Bye.